Beyond all measure I was lost, now I'm found by the Father I've been changed from a ruin to treasure I've been given a hope and a future I've been blessed beyond all measure I am counting every blessing Counting every blessing, letting go and trusting when I cannot see. I am counting every blessing, counting every blessing. Surely every season you are good to me. Oh, you are good to me. Beyond all measure I am counting every blessing Counting every blessing Letting go and trusting When I cannot see I am counting every blessing Counting every blessing Surely every season You are good to me Oh heart is still for me. I will remember your mercies all my days through every storm and gale. I am counting every blessing, counting every blessing, letting go and trusting when I cannot see. I am counting every blessing, counting every blessing, letting go and trusting when I cannot see. I am counting every blessing, counting every blessing, surely every season you are good to me. I am counting every blessing, counting every blessing, letting go and trust. When I cannot see Oh, you are good to me Oh, you are good to me Oh, you are good to me Oh, you are good to me
Hi, I'm Phil Griffin. Welcome to Leap of Faith Church. Hello, I'm Jan Oliver, and welcome to worship at Leap of Faith Church. Good morning, and welcome to worship at Leap of Faith Church. I'm Paul Watkins, a Leap of Faith Church member and your guest minister for today. Thank you for coming to worship with us. You can check in by leaving your name in the comments section, by texting 903-821-4505. You can also support the ministry of the church by clicking the offering button up above. And if you'd like to subscribe to our Thursday evening emailed newsletter, click on the button down below. As far as announcements go today, please watch for information about uh, LOFC plans for December and Christmas in the newsletter and on the Leap of Faith Church page on Facebook. For updated information about the church, mylofc.org and the Leap of Faith Facebook page are always good places to go. You're here to worship this morning, so let's get started. Will you remember this? You are loved and you are wanted at Leap of Faith Church. You are loved and you are wanted by our Lord Jesus Christ. As we anticipate Thanksgiving Day coming up, I invite you to think of something that you're thankful for and list it in the comments. And then give thanks to God whose love endures forever. And as we do that, please enjoy some music from the Leap of Faith Church Band. all your heart give praise for the Lord we serve will never let you down in everything give thanks with all your heart believe that the Lord can take a circumstance turn it all around when you want sunshine to brighten up your day but you find the clouds Rain on your parade Don't forget somewhere Someone you may not know Is thanking God for the rain To make the crops grow In everything give thanks With all your heart give praise For the Lord we serve Will never let you down In everything give thanks With all your heart believe that the Lord can take a circumstance, turn it all around. When troubles trouble you, you think life's not fair when you need someone and there's no one there remember all the times that you feel alone are the times he'll use to make you strong in everything give thanks with all your heart give praise for the lord we serve will never let you down in everything give thanks with all your heart believe that the lord can take a circumstance turn it all around in everything give thanks with all your heart give praise for the lord we serve will never let you down in everything give thanks with all your heart believe that the Lord can take a circumstance and turn it all around. A Leap of Faith is an independent church, not affiliated with any denomination or other local churches. People often ask us what we believe. We embrace the Apostles' Creed, that historic confession of the Christian faith. I invite you to join me now as we remember the words together. I believe in God the Father, Almighty, 
maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day, He arose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence He shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. I invite you to, to please take a few moments uh, to think about and name those things that are interfering with your relationship uh, that you want with God. Now, if you'll join me as we pray. God, it's easy to think of you when things are going our way. It's easy to thank you when the people we love best are at the table with us. It's easy to thank you when we have everything we need. It's a lot harder when everyone else in the world seems to have it all and we come up empty-handed. Forgive us, God, when thanking you has become so hard that we stop trying. Forgive us and make us faithful to try again. God, hear this prayer and hear our silent prayers of confession now. Will you be sure of this? When you've confessed in the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven and so am I. Joys and concerns. I invite you to share your joys and concerns in the comments section to the left. And if you would rather keep those a little more private, you can always feel free to text them to 903-821-4505. As far as joys and concerns here in the church, as always, we would ask that you pray for our world leaders, for the leaders of our country, our state, and our community. We'd ask that you pray for God's protection for those who serve in the military, for those in law enforcement and other public safeties. All those who are ill, injured, suffering in any way, uh, Fidel's mother, Shane, uh, and his son, Fidel's daughters, uh, Amsi and Abby, and his partner Clinton, uh, Shirley's sister Heidi, Dana, Dina, John, Jewel, Marianne, Mike, Pat, Cheryl, Jim, Zora, Chris, Ronnie, Lori, And again, we pray for those who, who serve in the military, specifically that are here at Leap of Faith Church. Tyler, Jessica, Jordan, Devin, and Clayton. If you have any concerns that you would uh, like to share, again, please list them in the comments or feel free to text them. Joys. You can share those as well. We all love to see the joys, and we'll celebrate with you. Joys that we know of here in the church. Tyler Bunch and Megan Ford announced their engagement on Friday, November the 12th. Uh, Rod Lear has a new granddaughter, Mabel Clare, born Monday, November the 15th, uh, daughter of Corey and Rachel Laird. Uh, Mike Goldworthy presented three candidates uh, on November the 16th. Uh, those are candidates for the new assistant pastor here at Leap of Faith Church. And we want to always be thankful and show joy and and thanksgiving for the Leap of Faith Band, as well as uh, Brad and Summer, who make this uh, online service possible. If you'll think now about those joys and concerns, and join me in prayer, we will lift them up. Dear God, thank you that you've victoriously conquered sin, heartache, death, and any evil that we may face in our lives. Because of you, we are overcomers. We have victory, 
and we can walk strong in your peace. Thank you, Lord, for helping us endure through the hard times. Thank you for making our joys and concerns your own. We draw in close to your presence today and ask that no matter what obstacles or adversity we're facing, we choose your joy. Keep your word, truth, and love planted deep within us and help us to keep focused on what is pure and right. Give us the power to be obedient to your word and to be the church not only to each other but to a world that is hurting. God, hear our prayer. Hear as well the prayers of those who are celebrating joys and concerns, whether spoken out loud or kept silent. And hear us now as we pray together in the way that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today I wanted to share a couple of verses with you. Uh, the first one comes from the Psalms. Actually, Psalm 100, verse 4. And it tells us to enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and to enter his courts with praise. Be thankful under him, unto him, and bless his name. If we move ahead to the New Testament, in uh, Paul's first letter to the the church at Thessalonica, so 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, he reminds the church, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ concerning you. I, uh, I thank God for his word, and I ask that he bless the message today. Thanksgiving isn't easy. The Bible tells us to give thanks in everything we do and to do everything without complaining. Maybe, though, just maybe, when that was written, maybe they hadn't perfected complaining yet. I think if the Apostle Paul knew just how good of a complainer we could truly be, he would maybe have given some different advice to the church at Thessalonica. Now, a little insight. At work, I'm a data analyst and a planner. I find ways to keep people organized, productive, and make processes more efficient. If we think about this thing and we work at it, I believe we can become much more efficient complainers. So let's throw out a few ideas. Use negative words whenever possible. Thankful people aren't realists like us. Right? They need to practice vocalizing their frustrations more. Language matters, so be mindful of the words you use. Stronger labeling equals a more cultivated and cultured grumbling spirit. Use words like horrible, terrible, atrocious, irritating, and my favorite, asinine. Use those words. Next. Set aside time daily to meditate on what other people do to get under your skin. Do try to limit that time, though, you know, for efficiency's sake, because it can fill hours. Keep a journal. Oh, now, this is a good one. Keep a journal. No matter how minuscule, you should keep track of everything that bugs you. We all have our pet peeves. If you write them down, you can remember them easier. I try to write down two or three things a day that irritate me. And if I find myself accidentally happy, <laughs> you know, I whip out that journal and I review the list of my frustrations. Sometimes I even put them on post-it notes and stick them to the mirror in the morning so that I can see them first thing when I get up. Oh, focus on yourself when praying, right? Use those few seconds of prayer each day to get what you want. Praising God for being God is a waste of our time and His. He already knows how great He is. He doesn't need us prattling on and on and on about it, right? Instead, remind Him of everything you want that you don't already have. 
Ah, here we get into some good meat and potatoes. Be more distracted. Thankful people, the, the non-realists, they don't usually dwell on the bad stuff that's happened to them. They don't worry enough about all the awful stuff that can happen to them. <laughs> if you want to be an efficient complainer, well, you've got to do both. And speaking of doing both, always, always, always multitask. Always. Don't waste time by simply enjoying a meal or free time with somebody that you love and care about. That's a waste of time. Entertain and engage yourself constantly by looking at your phone or watching TV. I'll tell you from personal experience, if you give yourself too much time to focus on positive stuff happening around you, you'll miss out on the possible threats around the corner. You don't want to do it. Oh, and make sure you're not getting all of the sleep and rest you think you need. When you're tired, you get anxious. And anxiety is a performance-enhancing drug for people like us. You need that to complain. Anxiety goes right with complaining. And I almost forgot, exercise is poison. Trust me. You get endorphins when you exercise. Even sh a short little walk will get those juices flowing. And then those positive chemicals are all in your brain and body. They prevent you from recognizing and dwelling on all the awful realities around you. We can't afford to let anything get in the way of that. What other ways am I missing? Hmm. Well, thankfully, I know that you all quickly saw through my hyperbole. And we can just reverse all those points that I just mentioned and see what it looks like to be a thankful child of God and not a negative Nelly. Hearts that God has touched, they pour out thankfulness like a sieve. No kindness is too small to provoke it. No problem is too severe to restrain it. We're possessed of this sort of spiritual alchemy so there's this divine secret formula that, that turns the lead that we experience into gold. We get blessings out of all things. And for that, we give thanks. I once read a story about uh, French Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte. He, uh, he was a unique character, to say the least. But he, um, in one instance, gave a bunch of blank checks to one of his field marshals. The treasurer uh, eventually caught up to the emperor and complained to him that the amounts that the field marshal was spending was enormous and had to be stopped. Napoleon simply said, let him alone. He trusts and honors me, and I'll trust him as well. God's like that. He puts all things at the command of his children, and he trusts us while he asks us to trust him. Why then shouldn't we be thankful? Nothing puts a spring in your step, a smile on your face, or, or peace in your heart like that spirit of thankfulness. And that spirit can and should be cultivated in each and every one of us. We have so much to be thankful for. Personal liberty, the health we have, past mercies, present comforts, future possibilities food and the appetite to eat it, the clothes we wear, our homes, our friends and our family, the church universal and our church here at Leap of Faith, the family here in Leap of Faith, the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, the unending love of the creator of the universe for each of us, and I'm sure countless other kindnesses, blessings and lessons that we learn each day that if I were to name them off, we would be here all morning. We truly have so much to thank God for. And if we're going to be thankful, sometimes we have to kind of set our hearts and minds to it. Like willpower. Sometimes we grumble and complain without even thinking or, or really even meaning it. So, sometimes we have to kind of go against that willfully to give thanks 
to complain is, is very natural. It's very human. To give thanks is supernatural. It's a spirit that comes down from God in heaven. And like all things from God, all gifts from God, it can be nurtured and cultivated. The Bible tells us that, that Daniel prayed and gave thanks three times a day. David said, uh, I will praise thee. So he was putting willpower into it. I will praise thee. And then David, being David, had to outdo Daniel, right? And he says, uh, seven times a day do I praise thee. People who live in the midst of foul odors or booming sounds often cease to smell and hear them. But if they'll get away from that environment for a little while and experience the clean air and the calm of nature, when they return home, they're often shocked by their surroundings. And so some complainers and negative folks only see the bad because that's what's around them. That's what they choose to see around them. But when we intentionally focus on the good and thankfully praise God for His loving kindness, regardless of the situation, we begin to change the world around us just as we're changing our hearts. I encourage you again to take a moment to think of what you're most thankful for in your life. And then praise the Lord. Hope the message, uh, hope the message touched you this morning. And I thank you for being with us. Uh, in closing, if you would like to join Leap of Faith Church as a member, feel free to text us at uh, 903-821-4505. We will find a way to help you live out your faith decision. Uh, for offering, there's a giving button above the comments column. You can text GIVE to 903-225-8774 and follow the instructions. You can also give uh, through uh, the PayPal link on our newsletter or by simply mailing a check to LOFC 5615 North FM 1417, Sherman, Texas, 75092. Please leave your name as a comment and sign up for our newsletter. Take a moment to visit and like the Leap of Faith Church uh, page over on Facebook. And please remember this, God's generosity never ends. So we give wholehearted thanks whenever, wherever we get together and when we're all alone as well. We give thanks. Have a happy Thanksgiving. May God bless you. Hope you'll stick around and enjoy music from the Leap of Faith Band. Thank you for worshiping at Leap of Faith Church this morning. Will you come and follow me if I but call your name? Will you go where you don't know and never be the same? Will you let my love be shown? Will you let my name be known? Will you let my life be grown?
Will you love the you you hide if I but call your name? Will you quell the fear inside and never be the same? Will you use the faith you found to reshape the world around through my sight? Touch and sound in you and you in me. Lord, your summons echoes true when you but call my name. Let me turn and fall.